Idadi kubwa ya wabunge na maseneta wa Kenya Kwanza na vya Matanzu umezua wasiwasi kuhusu uhuru wa bunge baada ya uchaguzi mkuu mgogoro kuhusu mrengo wenye wabunge wengi baina ya Kenya Kwanza na Azimio ulizuka hata hivyo baada ya Rais William Ruto kuapishwa wabunge wengi walihamia upande wa serikali Chamuta Igoina anaangazia hali ya bunge la 13 mwaka mmoja chini ya uongozi wa Rais Ruto Kutangazwa kwa William Ruto kuwa rais mteule tarehe 5 Septemba mwaka uliopita kulisababisha mageuzi kwenye siasa za nchi, taifa, likitosa kwenye kinyang'anyiro cha kudhibiti bunge la kitaifa na la seneti. Katika siku za mpito, shughuli nyingi zilisheheni katika makao makuu ya naibu rais huku waliokuwa kinengua miondoko ya azimio, sasa wakibadili mtindo na kuanza kujishebedua kwenye ngoma ya serikali ya Kenya Kwanza. Wa kwanza kuvunja hema walikuwa wanachama wa UDM wakiongozwa na seneta wa Mandera Ali Roba wakifuatwa na wanasiasa waliogombea kama wagombea huru. Kivumbi hicho kilitifuka kwenye uhimili wa mabunge yote mawili huku viti vya maspika vikiwa vyenye umuhimu zaidi. Pisa! Malumbano makali alikabili kinyang'anyiro hicho lakini hatimaye Kenya Kwanza ilirambisha udongo azimio kwa sababu ya idadi kubwa ya wawakilishi iliyopata kutokana na wagombea wa azimio kuhamia Kenya Kwanza. Kiranja walio wengi Silvana Sosoro anakiri kuwa idadi hiyo imebadilika mno katika mwaka mmoja. Parliament, Kenya Kwanza za coalition had about um, 189 elected members from uh, the Kenya Kwanza political parties plus about 10 friendly uh, independent members you know independently elected members and that made a total of about 199 we have uh, in the very first quarter that was the number that we were using to pass the legislative agenda so we are bragging with a friendly number currently of about 215 The difference between the current poaching and the poaching that used to happen during the Kanu state is that back then one would have to face a by election if they ever crossed the floor to join Kanu. And here you have a situation where members of parliament are essentially crossing the floor and joining Kenya Kwanza or Uda for all intents and purposes. But continuing to cling to their parliamentary seats. Na kwa mtizamo wa karibu ni bayana kuwa miegemeo bungeni na elekea ikulu. Usalili wa walioteuliwa na rais kujiunga na baraza la mawaziri haukuwa na pingamizi na miegemeo yote miwili ya kisiasa iliazimia kumnusuru peni na Malonza ambaye alionekana kutoafikia upeo wa tajriba. Mikutano ya wajumbe wa Kenya Kwanza katika ikulu ya Nairobi kila mara ikiafikia kuunga mkono ajenda ya serikali bungeni mfano mwafaka ukiwa mjadala kuhusu mswada wa fedha mwaka 2023 ambapo wana Kenya Kwanza walitumia siku nzima ikuluni kuelimishwa kuhusu mswada huo hususan matozo ya asilimia moja nukta tano ya hazina ya nyumba uhimili wa ikulu ukidhibitishwa na idadi ya wabunge waliojitokeza kuunga mkono mswada huo ulioendelea hadi mifugo ilipolala parliament is not a competition necessarily for numbers but it is more that's why it's a debating chamber you talk to each other you convince each other you listen to other people's perspectives improve on what you have and that is the approach that we have taken that we will listen to the other side the we beg them to listen to us we are always begging them to listen to us even when they don't agree with us and at times when they listen they get convinced <laughs> and many a times they vote with us and that is the way any democracy in the world works there is a serious attempt by the executive to capture the other two arms of government okay the capture itself is at various uh, stages our government is a bit different in terms of operations we haven't gone into the level of regrets because the government that we have and the party leader that we have the president is very consultative that before he makes a decision i can tell you that there are so many things that we is had meetings with us and the house leadership and even the members of parliament and has dropped some decisions 
Lakini kama uhalisi ulivyo, siasa ni siasa na siasa hazina usuhuba. Nyufa zilizidi na upinzani na serikali kukosa kuafikiana. Maandamano ya fujo ya kitanda nchini kote, huku rais William Ruto na asimu wake Raila Odinga wakiafiki kutafuta mwafaka kupitia mazungumzo ambayo hayaegemei upande wowote. Hatua hii iliyafikia kuunda kamati ya watu 14 kutoka mirengo yote miwili bungeni. Baadaye, kamati hiyo ili shindwa kuafikiana kuhusu ajenda ya mazungumzo hayo na maandamano yakarejelewa ujio wa aliyekuwa rais wa Nigeria Ole Seguno Basanjo ulifanikisha mazungumzo kati ya rais Ruto na hasimu wake Raila Odinga na baadaye kuundwa kwa kamati ya watu kumi. Kamati hiyo inatarajiwa kuwasilisha ripoti na pendekezo la mswada utakaojadiliwa bungeni. Inatazamiwa kuwa malumbano mengine yanatarajiwa bungeni mswada huo utakapowasilishwa serikali ikitaka kuonyesha ubabe wake. Kinachosubiriwa sasa ni kuona iwapo siasa za ubabe baina ya pande za Kenya kwanza na azimio itaathiri shughuli za bunge. Chemuto Igoinu Ninga Citizen kutoka kaunti ya Nairobi.